Along with that, 20% is physical activity. Like I said, at least 45 to 60 minutes for 5 days a week. That is sufficient for your weight loss. But the thing is, you don't have to eat wheat roti every day. You know what people do is morning mein paratha, lunch mein roti, dinner mein roti. That is actually not the right way. So I always suggest that mix your wheat roti with a millet roti because you need to increase the fiber and the nutrient content of your food. And when we talk about the rice, see for the vegetarians, rice and dal, they make the complete amino acid you know, profile and that is the best source of proteins for the vegetarian. So we don't have to avoid the rice. The thing is, you can add some vegetables in your rice and have it with your curd, right? So again, that way you are increasing the fiber content. We can add apple cider vinegar in the rice. So that way your sugar will not spike. The third thing is that for rice, you can increase the resistant starch of the rice. So how you do that? Basically, you cook your rice. Keep it in the fridge overnight and next day you consume the same rice. So that way you are increasing the resistant starch and that will not spike your sugar levels. So basically this resistant starch resists the digestion in your small intestines. It directly reaches the large intestines and it releases uh, short chain fatty acids which is feed for the microbiota. So that way it is good for your health. Right, so there is the right combination how to eat the food. So if you are eating it in the right way, you don't have to skip roti and rice. Thank you, Vani.